Hi, my name is Nord and I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering. I'm here today with Dr. Vikan Kortian and Dr. June Ho. Today's session is giving a snapshot of the Master of Engineering Management program and will showcase the career options, future opportunities and pathway to various career trajectories like Engineering Manager, Project Manager and Engineering Consultant. I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of country throughout Australia and their con continuing connection to land, waters and community. We pay our respect to them and their culture and elders past, present and future. I'd like to hand over to Dr. Vic, who will take it. the next slides over. Thanks, Noor, and, uh, and welcome everybody. Uh, yes, today I would like to talk a bit about uh, the Masters of Engineering Management program. Uh, the Masters of Engineering Management program is, is actually uh, very, very new. It started this year and it's, it's a, uh, it, it bridges the gap between uh, the field of engineering and the field of business management. Um, it, it's a multidisciplinary field which involves, you know, uh, our business, our business topics, as well as, uh, you know, technology uh, and, and brings in the engineering aspects. So uh, it, it's a very, very popular choice for engineers. Uh, these, these programs are being run uh, in many, many universities around the world and in Australia. And it's a pathway for, for engineers to progress uh, from doing the, the hardcore engineering calculations designs to, to one of managing people, uh, managing organizations as well. It's, it's a full-time uh, course at Macquarie University at, at our North Ride campus. And as I said, it, it started um, in February of this year and, and um, we, we've, we had a, quite a number of people join our, our course. Some of the key features of, of, this, of this course, as I said earlier, it's, it's a truly interdisciplinary degree. And it's, it was jointly developed by the School of Engineering and, and the Macquarie Business School. Um, uh, this is the only degree with, with two year full-time duration in Sydney. And as I said, it, it's, it has a comprehensive multidisciplinary course content. And it prepares the students uh, to, to essentially hit the ground running. Uh, when, you've, when you've done this degree, uh, you'll be exposed to real um, uh, applications in the engineering management uh, field. Uh, we're utilizing experts uh, in, in the School of Engineering as in, as in the, uh, the business school. And as I said, um, it, it's delivering a program at above world standards with, with high quality learning materials. So why MQBS? Why Macquarie Business School? Well, um, it, you know, traditionally, uh, Macquarie Business School has been one of the best management schools in Australia. Uh, it's one of the oldest business administration masters. Uh, it has world-class uh, teaching facilities. It has a, a dedicated experienced staff uh, for teaching uh, of management, and it has dedicated space and facilities for, for management students. It has a network of, of more than 20,000 alumni uh, who had graduated with a, with a master's degree. And, and more importantly, um, our business program uh, has, has been accredited uh, by AACSB, which is the Association to Advance College, Collegiate Schools of Businesses. And, and this is a very, very difficult um, accreditation to gain. So what does the Masters of Engineering Management uh, course structure have? Well, it has the foundation zone, which has uh, 80 credit points. Um, uh, and it also has its core zone of, of 80 credit points. 40 of which are essential units and the other 40 are, are elective units. Uh, so slightly uh, less than half of the credit points are taught by um, uh, Macquarie Business School. Uh, a bit more about the course content. As I said, it's essentially an MBA for engineers. It, it, the course provides greater depth in subjects that are relevant for engineers looking to progress uh, their careers. And, and we, we've written uh, new courses and, and, and some of these are, for example, um, engineering procurement and contract management, uh, a very in-depth course around quality and, and quality management, uh, and also engineering entrepreneurship and, and innovation. So uh, if, you, if you go into any of the uh, employment uh, websites like SEEK, um, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of positions. Now, given COVID-19 has come and, and has had a pretty uh, significant impact, not just on the engineering field or engineering management field, but pretty much just about all the areas. 
Uh, and, and so, uh, but, but you know, prior to COVID uh, occurring, there was an incredibly uh, strong demand in this area. Um, there's also a very strong international demand from the, the, you know, the South Asian countries, uh, uh, as well as um, some of the uh, other European and, and South American countries. So what are our career opportunities? Well, the program prepares you with the technical and innovation skills uh, to be work ready in different engineering firms and government organizations. For the industry professionals, this course uh, provides great opportunities for updating your skills for career advancements and management. Uh, there's a wide range of career opportunities at different levels as professional engineers and, and graduate engineers can consider this to boost their career performance with this degree by moving into managerial positions. So there's a, there's a raft of uh, opportunities uh, in the various fields. And, and you know, this slide really shows us uh, pretty much all of the, the key fields uh, are opportunities for, for people who've done the Masters of Engineering Management to, to really move into. Uh, finally, I think I'd like just to finish off by saying that uh, both the Macquarie Business School and the School of Engineering have well established industry partners. We work with our industry partners to provide practical experience to our students, and, and they will leave with experience that will be valued by potential employers. And so, uh, you know, both the, the business school has the professional practice subjects as well as the engineering, um, as their engineering part. And so it just really uh, opens this up to give you exposure to both aspects of the Masters of Engineering Management. So that's all I really have to, to cover here. Um, over to you, uh, Noor, uh, in terms of what you'd like to ask questions. I open to questions now. Thanks, Vic. Uh, we all understand that engineering management is a broad field and can cover a wide range of technical and managerial topics. Can you share some tips and give us some specific examples on the future career paths upon completion of this degree? Yes, look, um, I think, uh, as I said earlier in, in the slides, the real emphasis of, of this degree is, is giving people uh, the, the knowledge and the experience um, that they can take and, and progress their careers. The, the, this course is very much, uh, as I said, an MBA for engineers. It gives them the softer skills bulk of the courses around you know the, the way we manage people the way we manage systems uh you know how can we improve our organization but at the same time also look at some of the more engineering aspects such as how we manage projects how we manage large projects how we manage our suppliers so it, it really is giving uh these students uh our students uh, you know a real good footing so that when they when, when they move into their their roles whether they're currently employed or they're looking for, for roles, you know, that, 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 that the, 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 the base that will allow them to, to progress within their organization. Thanks, Vic. Now, to become an engineering manager or consultant, I guess we need to be ambidextrous in engineering and business skills, which is quite challenging and inspiring. Can you share some thoughts and give us an example on how the students could synthesize this interdisciplinary knowledge from engineering, business and management into project management and innovative business solutions? Yeah, look, I, I think I, I'd like to use myself as a, as a very good example. I, I'm a chemical engineer um, and, uh, you know, I, I did my MBA at Macquarie. So I'm, I'm actually an alumni from uh, MGSM. And, and now I'm back, uh, back teaching, and I've, and I've basically worked uh, the past 35 years in, in the engineering field as well as in the business field. And, and more often than not, um, engineers are valued because of their ability to solve problems. Now, when you combine these skills, which are highly sought after in management, uh, and give them the, the managerial aspects, you become an incredibly uh, sought after individual. It really is what you said about being ambidextrous, being comfortable with the, the hard skills, you know, the mathematical design, the engineering piece, but at the same time, you know, having that EQ, the, the emotional quotient aspects around how we manage people and, and how we deal with key stakeholders, how we communicate, how do we manage change? These are all, you know, uh, very important aspects around uh, business and business administration uh, that, we, that, we, um, that we provide for our, for our students. So they basically fit hand in hand with each other. Absolutely. 
Uh, now, there are lots of talks about being disruptive, innovative and entrepreneurial. How do you see these trends in this program and how do we apply those principles and skill sets learned in the courses into the real projects? Yeah, so um, as you saw in my slides, uh, one of the courses which I'm currently writing now is around engineering entrepreneurship. And, and Macquarie University is really at the forefront of, of really being very, very practical. Um, <clears throat> we have the, the innovation hub, um, you know, we, we, we have a whole bunch of other activities that really promote um, the whole concept around uh, innovation and, um, you know, being disruptive, you know, learning all the, the latest technologies around uh, data and analytics and how do we incorporate, you know, building predictive models, artificial intelligence and machine learning. These are all aspects that we've kind of really built in into our courses. So um, when someone comes in here uh, into, our, into our program, they are learning uh, you know, skills that are gonna be uh, you know, used straight away, but as I said, really sought after uh, in, in the workplace. And so um, you know, I, I'd like to pass it over to June and she can talk off a little about what uh, June's, uh, you know, prior to coming to, to Macquarie University was at Engineers Australia. And, and she can talk a bit about one of the things that the profession is really looking for in terms of, of our course. June, would you like to say a few words around that? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm happy to be here to share with you some of my experience in the engineering management area. So uh, before joining Macquarie, I was working at Engineer Australia at a skill assessor. And with that job, I had an opportunity to look at engineering management at a broader view. Uh, and systematic view. So uh, I look at from the educational and industrial perspective, how education is still develop the curriculum and how engineers move further in their career to engineer manage management. So from uh, engineers Australia view, so uh, we require competencies for professional engineer and the requirement for national engineering register NER to work in Australia. So for, to meet that uh, engineering management skills, such as um, management of engineering, engineering project or leadership at the compulsory, you need to meet these requirements to have the license to work in Australia. So there is no way for you. You need to improve, you need to develop engineering management to be competitive in Australia. Yeah, thanks, Vic. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, June. So, over to you, Noel. Thank you. Now, engineering is more or less a, a big concept. There are so many areas like manufacturing, biomedical, construction, water, infrastructure, mining, renewable energy. There's so much, there's so much to it. So, what should we do if we're really interested in one of these areas? And how do we become job ready to find ways to get into these industries? Yeah, look, uh, I think, uh, especially in, in, in the times that we live, uh, you know, everybody's heard uh, the impact that the uh, COVID-19 virus has had is on industry. And one of the tools that governments are using, both state and federal, uh, are really using infrastructure projects to kickstart the economy. So, um, you know, this is an ideal opportunity uh, for those who are who are looking at going into these areas to, to come and, and, and get these qualifications and become more, um, uh, you know, more attractive in the employer's eyes. I think one of the other things I would like to, to, to stress upon is uh, back in the early 90s, and this is just showing how old I am, when I, when I did my MBA, one of the things that really struck me that attracted me to Macquarie was it, it, it had uh, people who were in industry who were actually teaching the subjects, especially in the areas such as business. It's very um, disheartening if you come to a, uh, to a learning institution and the person who's teaching is just an academic. And we just don't have just academics. We have people who have worked in industry and know what industry wants and are here passing on those, uh, those valuable lessons that they've learned uh, as an employer, as employee, uh, to our students. And I think that's one of the things that we are trying to pass on to our students. We, we actually invite uh, industry people. Uh, so in the, in the engineering courses, as well as the management courses, we bring people from industry to come and talk about uh, what they actually do today and what things that they are looking for. That's amazing. So basically we're learning all these skills that we need to be job ready for the real world. 
So oh, like you said, you know, you've got a well, you're very well experienced. So, you know, you must have worked with various engineers and industry professionals on lots of different engineering projects. From what you've seen, what types of careers and roles will be open to program graduates and how have the engineering driven industries in Australia been affected by the whole co coronavirus situation? Yeah, look, uh, as, as I said, I think um, what, what um, uh, employers are really looking for now is not so much highly skilled areas within uh, one particular field, but people who have a, a general uh, understanding of all areas. But one of the trends that, that I've seen, uh, especially over the far past five or 10 years, has been a greater focus on the disruptive technologies. You know, the, the role that artificial intelligence and machine learning is playing uh, in, in making decisions based on, on data and not intuition, which is essentially what engineers really do. We, we, we rely on the physical world, data from the physical world in designing, uh, whether it's a bridge, whether it's a, 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 a electronic cellular tower or, or, or whatever. Um, we, you know, we use, we, we convert physical, um, you know, situations into mathematical situations and we solve those uh, mathematical problems and we, we come up with the, with the physical solutions. And so, um, you know, people are looking for, employees are really looking for uh, skills uh, that are really sought after. And, and as I said, um, we're very fortunate that we do have uh, those skills here at, uh, at Macquarie, both in the engineering field as well as the business field. And as I said, this inter interdisciplinary approach in bringing these two areas together, you know, uh, we're just getting the best of both worlds and we're providing a, a unique um, course that uh, people will, will not only appreciate uh, attending, but then they'll appreciate a lot more when, when they uh, were out in the workforce. Thanks, Vic. So that sounds amazing. So basically, we're getting the full package. So not only are we learning the full technical engineering side, side to the engineering world, but also the management skills, which, as you said, is going to make our students that when they graduate more attractive to the engineering industries. So thank you, um, Vic and June for joining us today. It was really informative and I'm sure these students will really benefit from all of this. Um, if anyone still has any more questions, there is the one-to-one -one -on -one personal consultation that you can book by clicking the link that's shown available. And you can ask any questions that you still have. Thank you everyone for joining.